six is going to be one of the great natural phenomenons that, that we're going to be able to witness. It's when the cicadas emerges from the ground after being in the ground feeding on roots for 17 years and they all come out at once. The adults, when they emerge and after they've come up out of the ground, they mate and then the female lays her eggs in the stems of trees. Those immature cicadas then migrate down to the soil. They burrow into the soil and they begin feeding on the roots and they do that for 17 years. After 17 years, kind of all at once, they emerge and they crawl up and then they, they come out of their, their pupil shell. At that point, then they're adults again and they mate. And so that's the life cycle. It's just an amazing thing to witness. And we witness it uh, with almost all of our senses. We can watch them. We can hear them. They're extremely loud. Towards the end of their time here, we can even smell them. For some of us daring folks, we can uh, taste them. The reason that they emerge all at once, entomologists uh, theorize, and I, and I agree with them on this, is that they come out all at once as a matter of survival. They basically emerge all at once to overwhelm the predation that's going to occur on them. All the animals out there that eat bugs love it when, the, when they come out, and so, and that includes mammals and, and birds and, and other insects, and so there's an extreme amount of predation, but there's so many of them that they're able to overwhelm that predation, and that's, that's how they survive as a species. It's an amazing feat of evolution. There's a couple of different broods. Some of them come out every 13 years, and some of them come out every 17 years. There's a, a different genus altogether that uh, comes out every year that we hear typically in, uh, in late July and August. The cicadas that we have here are very loud. It's like standing next to a running lawnmower. I mean, right next to it. And so you can imagine trying to have a conversation, having a wedding ceremony with that kind of noise. The male makes the noise, the females don't make the noise. And the males have this structure called a timbal, which is on their underside combined with an air sac and they're able to, to make this noise. Yes, they're, they're very loud. And they're big bugs, which scares people, okay? But on the positive side, they provide a boon to the natural world. Uh, there's so much biomass that is out there where all the animals are getting their fill, and that's a great thing. And not to mention the, the biomass in whatever form, whether it's the, the dead insect itself or as it goes through another animal, that in itself actually helps fertilize. I see it as an overall uh, good thing. And of course for, you know, bug people like me, it's a, it's a great thing. You know, at first we're gonna go hunting for them and, and then we won't need to, cause they're gonna be everywhere. It starts out and it's, it, it's relatively slow takes a, a week or two you know to really where we notice a lot of them and then that'll probably be around for I would say two to three weeks and then it'll start waning off. I would say that we're gonna be living with them for around a month which I am very much looking forward to as an enjoyable month for myself. 
look on the lower trunks of the trees and you'll see the shells. And if you go out in the, in the nighttime or very early morning, you'll see them emerging from those shells. They're kind of greenish at that time until they get what we call chitinized, where the blood gets into their, uh, their wings and that. We'll see them everywhere. Uh, the last time in 2004, I know that my family could be taking a walk down the street and two or three cicadas at least would fly and land on us. We didn't have to go looking for them. Somehow they didn't appreciate it as much as I did, but uh, it was fun. They're basically very friendly. You can handle them. Uh, on the other hand, there are some recipes that are out there where you can cook up cicadas. In a spiritual sense, to think about this happens every 17 years in my life. So I'm gonna go through three of them, maybe four, and what has happened in those 17 years? And yet here they are again. And it's, to me, it's just a uh, testimony of, of how nature basically just keeps going along. It'll be 17 years before we see them again. It's, it's just the coolest thing.